I don't know who needs to hear this message, but we need to be planted like trees, okay? We need to be so rooted in God that nothing can uproot us, okay? It is so important that your foundation is solid, right? And for that foundation to be able to withhold everything in life, we have to be rooted in God. The Bible tells us in Psalms 1 verse 3, They are like trees planted along the riverbank, bearing fruit each season. Their leaves never wither, and they prosper in all that they do. The Lord wants your tree to be fruitful. The Lord wants you to be fruitful. The Lord does not want you to bear bad fruit. And in order for you to bear good fruit, you have to be connected to God. You have to be rooted in God. The Bible tells us you will know a person by their fruit. If a person's tree is not bearing any fruit, or worse if they're bearing rotten fruit you can tell that that person is not actually rooted in god that they're not actually connected to source and i love this verse because it says they're like trees planted along the river bank why is that so important being planted along a river bank because if you think about it when a tree is planted near water it has a endless supply of nourishment right for it to grow for it to thrive for it to bear much fruit Jesus is our living water. Jesus says in John 4, 14, those who drink the water I give will never be thirsty again. Mic drop. We need to be connected to God because he gives us that endless supply of nourishment. Otherwise, how is your tree going to bear fruit? How are you going to be able to get the strength to go out and plant more seeds, right? When you are connected to source, when you're connected to living water, you will be able to grow and thrive, right? You will be able to bear much fruit. So someone who's planted near water has that endless supply of nourishment and refreshment. You are connected to Jesus. No amount of winds can knock you down. No amount of storms can uproot your trees. That's how solid and rooted in God we need to be. We want to make sure that our trees not only are bearing fruit, but then those fruits can now plant new trees and then those trees can bear fruit and then those fruits can bear new trees and then it just needs to be a consistent cycle right here's the revelation we're not actually talking about trees here we're talking about people the kingdom of god we are the trees the fruits that we're planting these are disciples okay we're creating new disciples we're planting new seeds of the gospel of jesus christ those fruits are now going to blossom into their own tree and then that tree is going to produce new disciples hold on y'all fedex truck love to see it i love filming outside there's so many distractions i love it um no we love you fedex make sure that you are multiplying your seeds okay I want my tree, I don't know about you guys, but I want my tree to be so full of fruit that I have no choice but to share with others. Like that's how much fruit I want to have, right? That's how many disciples I'm trying to create, right? Like I want to make sure that, of course, through God, that's how it's going to happen. And the only way that we are going to bear a amazing amount of fruit, the only way that we're going to even be able to multiply our fruits is if we are connected to God. Otherwise, you're going to wither away. Otherwise, you're going to be uprooted, easily wavered. And the things of this world, the storms, the winds, they're, they're going to uproot you. So stay rooted in God. Make sure that your roots are deeply founded in Jesus Christ. So when there's a storm and all the trees around you are like shaking and withering and waving side to side, you're like rock solid. Like you're not going nowhere. That's how I'm trying to be. Me as a tree. Mood. I'm sorry, you guys. I am so mad because this word was supposed to be filmed. Like, I literally filmed this word like three, four times. And each time it didn't get recorded. So I know that this is an important word. And I'm kind of upset because this video, I don't think it even came out as good as the first couple videos. So, RIP to those videos that were lost and the devil's a liar. Um, But yeah, you guys, I pray that this encouraged you. I pray that this helped you. And for whoever this is for, stay rooted in God be like a tree planted in Jesus Christ.